A perfect camera movement, which is so smooth, can attract everybody's attention and make them come up with the question, is this real or it's a rendered video? And by the way, this feature is one of the main features in the new era of advertisement. So without any further ado, let's get this going. So first we need a cube and a camera, which we already have as a default every time we open Blender. So click on this light, press delete to remove it because we don't need that. Now we want to go into camera view. The hotkey is zero on the numpad. Then with the camera selected, right click and choose adjust focal length. Now by dragging the mouse, I can adjust the focal length. Let's put it on 20. You can see it on the top left corner by the way. Now we have a wider camera, so the big point is here. Now we want to look around and move like a real cameraman using WASD. With the camera selected, go to view, in the navigation select box through. Now I can look around by moving the mouse cursor and I can move around by WASD. I can go up and down using Q and E. And if I press G, I turn on gravity. So right click to cancel it. So every time we right click when we are in the Vox room mode, we come out of the Vox room mode. So let's set a hotkey for this. Go to view, navigation, when your mouse cursor is on the Vox room, right click and select assign shortcut. So I set shift F for it. Now if I press shift and F, I can look around and I also can move around. To move faster, hold down the shift key and use WASD. So how do we record this? Extend the timeline and turn on auto keying. Make sure that the camera is selected and I'm going to extend the timeline. I put it on 800. Now press a space to start recording. Then press your custom hotkey which is shift F. Now if you move around at the same time you are making keyframes. So now it is time to go into graph editor. I want to show you something really interesting. Right click on the timeline border, select vertical split, set it somewhere in the middle and set this right panel on graph editor. This will show you real time. So press space bar, then press shift and F. Now you can see how it works. Now let's take a look. Bring the mouse cursor to the right panel. Press Ctrl and a space to have a complete screen. So these keyframes aren't really smooth. So press Alt and O to get them smoother. And you can use it more than once, which is really cool. The more you press Alt and O, the smoother the keyframes will be. But the point is there are some parts where we didn't move the camera so there isn't any keyframes and relatively when there is no keyframe there is nothing to be a smooth. So what you can do is to go into the key option in the density choose bake keyframes. It creates keyframes where there isn't any keyframe and the hotkey is shift alt o. Now let's test it so delete all the keyframes press a space then shift f and move to make keyframes. To make keyframes to fill the gaps, press Shift Alt O. Then to smooth the keyframe, press Alt O. And again, if you use it more, the keyframes will be smoother. You can use it even up to 50 times. Now let's take a look. There it goes. The movement is just much smoother. Now let's make it a little more advanced. Delete all the keyframes and make another box through. The point is to have a smooth movement at the beginning. So move the CTI to the first frame, 
And before doing anything, let's take a look at it before making any changes. So this is how it starts. So move the CTI to the first frame, press I on the keyboard and choose available. Now we have keyframes at the beginning. I guess you are getting the idea. So move to the last frame, somewhere around here, press I on the keyboard again and choose available. Now we also have keyframes at the end. Now press Shift Alt O to make more keyframes to fill the gaps. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now press Alt O to smooth the keyframes. And don't forget to use it more than once. The more you use it, the smoother the keyframes will be. Now let's take a look. As you can see, we have a really smooth movement at the beginning. Now I want to test it in the real scene. So this is a simple scene with a house and a Rolls Royce car. Now we go through the process. Press a space, then press Shift F and make a move. I'm not recording, I'm just showing you. As you can see, when I'm walking around, I'm actually getting close to the ground or the vice versa. I'm going up kind of. So I just want to have a static camera as if a real cameraman is taking the shot. To do that, you can simply press G and it's going to follow the ground. So now let's give it a shot. I want to stand somewhere around here. Turn on auto keying, press space, then press shift and F and finally press G. And there it goes. So this is the movement that we made. Let's take a look. As you can see, it is not smooth at all. So let's split the screen and take a look at it in the graph editor. Right click vertical split, set it somewhere around here and set the right one on graph editor. And here are our keyframes. Let's go to the first keyframe. Make sure that the camera is selected. Press I, choose available to make keyframes at the beginning. Then we go to the last keyframe somewhere around here. Again, press I on the keyboard and choose available to have keyframes at the end. Now press Shift Alt O to fill the gaps. Then press Alt and O to smooth the keyframe. And again, if you use it more, the keyframes will be smoother. Now let's take a look. 